Idaho State Police are investigating a single car fatal accident that happened along northbound US 95 just south of Coeur d'Alene last night. They say the driver, 73-year-old Mary Ann Scoggins, drove off the right shoulder, corrected once, then overcorrected. The vehicle left the roadway and rolled, ejecting Scoggins from the vehicle. And protesters temporarily blocked a BNSF oil train from traveling through Spokane. A handful of them stopped the train for about 25 minutes near Trent and Napa. They say they're just trying to raise awareness about the dangers of trains transporting oil through the city and say they accomplished what they wanted. Just by our presence in making a statement about uh, what we feel, yeah. And a lawyer for the protesters say three of them were arrested. And the first ever solar panel roadway was set to unveil today in Sandpoint. However, the installation is being delayed until tomorrow. KXLY4's Ariana Cohen was in Sandpoint to get a sneak peek this afternoon. You imagine driving or walking on glass? Well, that's all about to become a reality in Sandpoint. Tomorrow, the inventors Julie and Scott Brusaw plan to unveil the solar panel roadway. Now, there were some delays with the manufacturing and lamination process all before the first installation. As the tent came down to reveal the first ever solar panel walkway, dozens of spectators were disappointed. There's been a little bit of a setback, so we're actually going to postpone the actual unveiling. But not to worry, the official installation will happen on Saturday. How do the panels work? It's simple. All you need is the sun and a special tempered solar glass panel that's so tough it could support the weight of semi-trucks. Remember, when we first started all this, we didn't even know if it was possible. It's 12 years of hard work finally paying off. Before installing in highways, they will first try the panels out on areas like sidewalks and parking lots. It's basically a solar panel that you can drive on. So it's in generating uh, DC energy. We convert that energy to AC. We feed the nearest location, the load center, whether it be in a house or in a building. So you're actually using the sun to energize whatever you're using. And then at nighttime when they're not producing, you can draw energy back off the grid and run the LEDs or the heating elements. Scott says the panels contain LED lights to create lines and signage without paint, heating elements to prevent snow and ice accumulation. The glass panels went through several tests and passed with flying colors. Your surface to your road will take a 250,000 pound truck, which is over three times the legal limit. So we passed all those tests. While critics say it can turn out to be quite pricey for taxpayers, the Broussaws are excited to make a difference. They, and we're just excited to show it to the world and we're really happy to have the support here in our hometown of Sandpoint and really happy that the first one in the world is going in right here. They plan to show the installation at 1 p.m. Saturday. Until then, you can watch the live webcam. We have that link on KXLY.com under News Links. Reporting in Sandpoint, I'm Ariana Cohen, KXLY4 News.